Hello and welcome to another card opening video. Today I'm going to open up some cards that I picked up at Walmart. I went to Walmart the other day and they actually had cards instead of uh, empty shelves. Uh, so I picked up a couple things uh, that I'll be opening today. Uh, before I begin, um, I'd like to ask that if you enjoy my channel and my videos, uh, please like the videos and subscribe to the channel. Uh, just a little thing like that does help uh, for me to grow the channel from where it is now in its humble beginnings. Uh, so if you're so inclined, uh, uh, please throw a like and a subscribe and I would really appreciate it. Now let's get going and talk about what I found at Walmart. Uh, I found two blaster boxes. Um, one is a Donruss 2021 Donruss Optic uh, Baseball. And the other is a 2021 Bowman, Bowman Platinum. And I'll start with the, the Donruss Optic. Um, I have not opened any Donruss uh, since I kind of got back into the co collecting hobby again. Uh, because uh, Donruss is owned by Panini, the Panini company now. And Panini has uh, a license with the uh, base MLB players, but they do not have a license with uh, Major League Baseball itself. So Panini can make the cards of the players, but they can't put any of the team logos or team names on those on their cards. So that's kind of been a little turnoff for me. So I have not um, gotten any Panini cards. Uh, but when I saw this at Walmart, um, thought I'd give it a try. Plus, as a Brewer fan, Christian Yelich is on the box. So that was another draw for me to pick it up. I know Yelich has had some a couple down seasons, but he's still one of my favorites. Uh, so uh, I saw him on the box and thought, oh, I, need, I needed to try out uh, Optic. Let's take a look at the box. There are four packs per box and six packs per car, or six packs, four, four cards per pack six packs per box plus a three card uh, bonus pack so you get 27 cards total um let's see what if it has any other details i think it yeah you can get a blaster exclusive pink parallels you get three of these pink parallels per box on average now from what i understand the optic is kind of the donruss version of chrome so there's a more pre it's more it's a more premium product so uh and i know that panini is really big on the on the parallels and so forth so i know we're going to get those pink ones but who knows what else we may get so here's the bonus pack and then there should be six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We will save the bonus pack for last. So my first Donruss Optic Packs I've ever opened. So here is the design. Uh, the, this is Pretty much, this is the same design as I believe the regular Donruss uh, 2021 Donruss baseball was. Just has the optic logo in the corner, and they do have like that uh, chrome, that tops chrome feel. And as you see, uh, the team name it just says San Diego. They can't say Padres. And if you look at the picture, they've removed like any of the logos. Like there's no logo on the helmet, no logo on the uniform that you can see. Uh, so that's that's what uh, Pinini has to do because of their license situation. But anyway, this starts with Manny Machado. And another pot, we're off to a good start, Fernando Tatis Jr. I'm going to set him aside. Luis Gonzalez. And we have a team minus uh, Frank Thomas insert. So I didn't look at the back. Let's look at the backs. Uh, this is what the back looks like. Uh, the Luis Gonzalez I didn't know to mention was a rated rookie. So and then the back of the Frank Thomas looks fairly similar. But so Frank Thomas is a Hall of Famer. That was a pretty good pack. Machado, 
Machado, Tatis, a rated rookie, and a Hall of Famer, and Frank Thomas. Second pack. Zach Flaherty. Uh, Diamond Kings, Nelson Cruz. Rated rookie of Isaac Paredes. And a mythical Javier Baez. This pack starts with Kyle Lewis. Bryce Harper is a very nice card. Tyler Stevenson, rated rookie. And a lights out Hall of Famer, Randy Johnson. I'll set that aside. Here we have a Diamond Kings of Trevor Story, Trevor Bauer. T minus uh, uh, insert of Jim Tomey and a rated prospect of Austin Martin. So that's that pack. We have two more packs to go plus our bonus pack. Starts with Corey Seager, Aaron Judge. Rated rookie of Dylan Carlson. And an unleashed Pete Alonzo. We have a rated rookie of Yermin Mercedes, who really went crazy at the start of this season. A rated rookie of Ryan Weathers. Another rated rookie of Adonis Medina. And Francisco Lindor Mythical. So that was three out of four with rated rookies. And I still haven't seen those pink ones, so maybe, maybe that's the pink parallels are what's in this bonus pack. Maybe they're not inserted in the normal pack. So I think I see some pink. Yep, looks like we do. So we have Jordan Alvarez, Diamond Kings, Trevor Story, and rated rookie of Dylan Carlson. Uh, so uh, this, I like Jordan Alvarez and the and any uh, rated rookie in a pink parallel is great. So uh, those are the highlights of this box. Uh, we have the. Fernando Tatis, we have some Hall of Famers in insert sets and Frank Thomas and Randy Johnson. These were all our rated rookies or pros, but rated prospects, Mercedes, Weathers, Medina, Carlson, Martin, Stevenson, Paredes, and Gonzalez. And then our three pink parallels, Jordan Alvarez, Trevins, Trevor Story, Diamond Kings, and another Dylan Carlson uh, rated rookie. So uh, that's, uh, that's the, the Donner's optic. I mean, I think looking at them, they're, they're nice looking cards. I've just always kind of avoided them because of the no logos and, or, or, or so forth. But uh, let me know in the comments what you think of them. And now I'll move on to the second box. This is 2021 Bowman Platinum. Uh, you can tell by the Platinum that this is a kind of a higher end product. And with Bowman, you know it features uh, prospects. Uh, the checklist has 100 of, of veterans and rookie cards. And then it has 100 top prospect cards. So we'll take a tour of the box. We get seven packs plus one extra pack, so eight packs, four cards per pack, so we get 32 cards. And it says there are four exclusive ice foil parallel cards. So we'll have to look for the ice foil parallel cards. And I believe the platinum set here is like a completely different design from the normal Bowman set that we uh, opened up earlier. Um, I've opened up some on the videos. So All right, so 
we should have eight packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we do. So again, we're, we're this is going to feature top prospects and a uh, hundred. Like the checklist has a hundred top prospects and a hundred uh, veterans and uh, rookie cards, and then we're looking for those ice foil parallels. So here is the design of Bowman Platinum. You can tell it is a kind of looks like a more it's a pretty clean design. Um, so it is definitely a different design than the normal Bowman cards from 2021. And we start out with a Nolan Arenado. And we'll take a look at the back. It has a few stats and then some facts about them. So, and then Anthony Servidio, Cer Cer and it looks like we have one of those ice foil parallels of Mick Abel, who, with the Phillies, and then Akil Badu rookie card. So I will set that aside. And I'm having trouble opening these packs. There we go. Wish they would come open a little easier than that. Here we have a Justin Verlander, Max Meyer, uh, and Gonzalez, Nick Gonzalez, and NG. I'm not sure what the NG stands for, but this looks like some sort of parallel. And then Jose Abreu. The next pack is a Sam Huff rookie card. Zach Veen. A Max Scherzer ice... Uh, Foil parallel, so that's a nice one. And Braylon, Braylon Marquez rookie card. So sometimes you don't know all if unless you're like a big prospect guy, you may not even know all the cards or all the names of the players. And so I may be passing up uh, some like really great prospects that I'm just not aware of. So if anyone uh, sees a card that uh, here that I just pass over and don't call out, please mention it in the comments. I'd love to hear what people think about all these cards. Juan Soto, that's a nice card. Jake Vogel. Um, uh, Bobby Dalbleck, Meteoric. And Alex Bregman. We're halfway through the box. We've gotten two of our ice foil parallels. It said there should be four. So we're right on track. Walker Bueller again. Heriberto Hernandez. And Blaze Jordan ice foil parallel. If you remember from the regular Bowman set, Blaze Jordan was one of the, the hot uh, cards to get in that set. So that, that's a good one. And we have a Fernando Tatis Jr. Another nice card right there. I do kind of like the look of these cards. They're nice and clean. Not, not too busy. I guess that's, you would expect them to look good when they're a platinum. Jared Kelnick rookie card. Um, he's really struggled this year, but everyone that... All the experts say that he's not going to struggle going forward, that he's uh, like a legit prospect. So that's a nice rookie card. Aaron Bracco, renewed or renowned rookies, Clark Schmidt, and Aaron Nola. And we have two packs left. Let's see if I can. Mm -hmm. 
William Contreras, rookie card from the Braves, Tyler Soderstrom. And here's a nice last uh, ice foil. It's a Shohei Otani. Uh, so the last ice foil parallel that we got is a Shohei Otani, uh, with the likely winner of the American League MVP for this year. So that's a really nice one. Really happy to get that one. And then your mean Mercedes rookie card. And the last pack of the of the box. Bobby Dahlbeck rookie card. Kobe Mayo. And we have another one. This one's numbered. This is a Shane Bieber. This one's numbered out of 299. So that one's really great. Happy to that's an extra surprise. And it ends with another nice card, a Joe Adele rookie card. Uh, one of the better known prospects who he also struggled this year, but um, is expected to have a nice career. So we end with Joe Adele. So uh, here, I'm just going to recap. I only pulled out the, the parallels. Uh, we have um, Mick, Mick Abel, Blaze Jordan. Then we have uh, the two well, -no two more well-known players, uh, current players, Max Scherzer and Shohei Otani. And then the extra surprise, we got a numbered one of Shane Bieber, uh, one twenty-three out of two ninety-nine. So those are the highlights of that box. So I enjoyed that box. I enjoyed both boxes. Uh, usually when I stop in at Walmart, I'm just I just stare at uh, empty shelves. But uh, this time, um, I was lucky enough to to find some cards. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment uh, about any of the cards uh, that I got. Uh, like I said, if I passed over a card that should have been uh, mentioned, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to read it. I look forward to it. So until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.